There's a challenge in the West that's had growers bogged down, and they haven't taken it lightly. Last year it was a wet harvest. The paddocks that we deep ripped, it was, yeah, it was very problematic getting the harvesters across. We, we got bogged many times. Approximately three million hectares of the south coast region are impacted by moderate or high water logging. What it does is really not just impact our crop yields, but our community's resilience and the um, resilience of our natural environments. In 2021, we brought you a story about the impacts of water logging and how growers were looking for solutions. Subsurface drainage has a real application in alleviating water logging conditions by moving perch water away from crop root zones. We just noticed when we got onto the paddocks that it had the, the pipes installed, uh, there was no, no bogging at all. So it's, yeah, it's really, really good result. Today, we're in Daly Up, Western Australia, where a group of growers are taking action. And it's all because of a GRDC funded trial, which is proving its weight in water. Prior to this trial, Daily Up grower Rowan Marold was looking far and wide for solutions. Then I heard that uh, they were doing a trial out there on Mick Fowles' place and had a bit of a look at that. The installation of subsurface drains is certainly a sight to see. Using a tile plough attached to a tractor, the tile plough uses GPS technology to create a ripping point. We set up a base station in the paddock so we can have RTK signal to the tile plough and that gets you accurate elevation at the point where you lay the pipes. The plough then creates a trench, lays the plastic slotted pipe, in this instance covered with a stocking for filtration, and then buries it under the subsurface. We're aiming for six to eight hundred mils depth of the pipe just to avoid any impact from machines or, or deep ripping and that sort of thing. You seem to need that depth to be able to get the spacing of your pipes. The now installed pipe slopes into open-ended drains at the end of the paddock and diverts all of the water on top of the soil to prevent water logging. And while it seems to be a battle being won in the trenches, it's certainly a project which needs prior planning. One of your most important factors to consider is the elevation of your paddock. It's always best to work with gravity. So we used a consultant to do some digital elevation mapping to see where the water was flowing and uh, where we needed to get to with the drains. You also should consider your soil profile and the depth to the clay layer, which is the impenetrable layer where most perch water will sit. We started out on some heavy clay paddocks where we thought it would be really beneficial but we found that wasn't as successful at getting the water out of the profile because of the sodicity and the subsoil. Considering soil type and of course other factors on farm including salinity levels are important in making sure that your drainage is designed best for your property. We tried some on some deeper sand over clay and uh, that worked really well. The, the pipe started flowing almost straight away within 24 hours. We're currently in the third of four years of a subsurface drainage return on investment trial. We're feeling really optimistic about the return on investment period for subsurface drainage. So far we've seen some great yield benefits across our trial sites in the Esperance port zone. We've also been monitoring the biomass, weed and disease presence and soil moisture conditions of these paddocks to produce a final return on investment figure in 2024. We're looking forward to seeing the final ROI figure and how we can apply this into a more broad scale adoption for growers. The main data I'm seeing at the moment is just the difference in the growth of the plants. We're still analysing some of our yield data on that but there's some big yield increases there we notice. I would say just have a go, it's very effective the subsoil drainage in certain soil types so it's a matter of uh, yeah, picking your soil types and, and making sure you've got uh, safe disposal of the water at the other end. My best advice for farmers who are experiencing waterlogging in anaerobic conditions is to get in contact with their local agronomists, advisors or natural resource management and grower groups to see how they might be helped by some experts to best design some subsurface drainage or other drainage solutions for their water management. It's pretty satisfying to see the water coming out of the pipes after you've installed them and it's, it's just nice clear water. It's just a, a difference to seeing water running off the top of your paddock. Um, with all that nutrient and erosion, yeah, it's very satisfying. 
This trial will conclude in 2024, with the final findings then being made available to growers. And in Daily Up, there's no doubt, a management plan of strategic subsurface drain investment can add real value. South Coast NRM are really excited to have partnered with the Grains Research and Development Corporation to deliver this project and we're even more excited that we can be doing this with our local growers across the region.